In general, um, patients with recurrent syncope of unknown origin and also patients with cryptogenic stroke where we like to look for silent atrial fibrillation are the key candidates for implantable cardiac monitors. This is a prospective uh, study, which uh, we, the goal was to have as many implanters as possible over multi-center uh, setting to look at the, um, the efficacy and safety of the uh, procedure of implanting the Biomonitor 3. So the, the two objectives were to look at uh, how easy it is to implant and also the safety, looking for adverse effects. And secondly, to look at the quality of uh, the signals, the um, the ability of the um, transmission of uh, home monitoring and the utility of that in um, patients needing these devices. Yeah, the key outcomes uh, that we're able to, um, to learn is that most physicians um, uh, had a lot of confidence in using the uh, one-step injection tool. They were able to, to do this um, safely and um, that the device handled uh, very well. Um, secondly, um, the outcome was to um, look at the, uh, the signal and we're able to get very good um, R-wave sensing of about 0.7 millivolt with uh, also a good 91% uh, of the time of uh, P-wave uh, visibility. This procedure is um, very um, straightforward. It actually provides um, a lot of confidence uh, as a one-step procedure. Following um, the skin incision, we simply insert the tube, uh, we re release the device, and um, this whole pr process is usually done um, in 10 to 15 seconds. Importantly, if we include the uh, time for closure to close the wound, the median time in our study was only three minutes. So it is a very easy and straightforward implant uh, procedure, and um, I, I think um, most uh, future implanters will find it to be the same, same case.